In today's video, we're gonna be simplifying vocal reverb in five short steps, so let's get right to it. Bam, what's goody? Jordan Baywood here, and I'm a music producer and audio engineer, and this is part six of our vocal mixing simplified series, and I made this series just out of frustration of watching other YouTubers kind of overcomplicate the process of mixing and plugins, so I just wanted to do my own take on simplifying the most important mixing plugins there are, and I'm gonna probably be doing this every six months because I always learn something new and I get excited to teach you guys. We've already done auto-tune, EQ, compression, DSing, delay, and now we are on to reverb. One of the most fun plugins there is in mixing and it can really make or break a song. So I wanna go through five simple steps to simplifying reverb. Let's get it. Wow, that was the best introduction yet. So I wanna show you guys what we've done so far. Let's hear it and let's get right into reverb. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. She deserved to live in paradise, yeah. Shook me up, I'm feeling paralyzed still. I don't really wanna fight on my real life and some real ties. Delay is so easy to uh, have too much of. So even right here, I'm just gonna turn it down a bit because I think it's a little too much. The first step of simplifying reverb is think about the space that you hear the song in before you hear anything. Do you hear it in a concert hall, in, in a bedroom? Do you hear it played outside? If you were to make a music video for it, where would you see it at and where would it make sense? So let's listen to this again and I wanna think about where I hear it at. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel She deserved to live in pain. I see him in a car singing this. I hear him outside an outdoor party singing this. So we're gonna kinda use an outdoor space type vibe. So that's step one. That's what I think about before I even put on a reverb. So let's put on a reverb. I'm gonna use one of my favorite, Chroma Verb, and it's a very beautiful reverb. We set the vibe. So we want an outdoor room. So we do maybe a theater or airy, let's say airy, okay? Cause you know, outside. Step two, I like turning the wet up a, a bit just so I can hear a lot of the reverb and then we're gonna tone it back. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. She deserved to live in paradise, yeah. Shook me up, I'm feeling paralyzed still. I don't really wanna fight, I want real life, it's some Step three is to mess with the decay. Like I said, I hear it outside. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty long reverb. So let's try a long reverb, which I would say anything after like one is pretty long. So let's just start at one and we'll go from there. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. She deserved to live in paradise, yeah. Shake me up, I'm feeling paralyzed still. I don't really wanna fight, I want real life with some real ties. I feel like we got time to kill. But she in me with the sad eyes, I hate red eyes, in it real. So that sounds good to me. The fourth step is we are going to be EQing it out. So if you go to details, uh, you can actually ha open up this EQ. And I like taking out a bit of the highs and a bit of the lows to not keep it so muddy. And then in the main, we can dampen this top end as well. So let's hear what we got now. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. She deserved to live in paradise, yeah. Shake me up, I'm feeling paralyzed still. The final step is just lowering this, this wet knob. It's obviously too much right now, so we're gonna lower it uh, till it's really sitting in the mix and finalizing this vocal up. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. She deserved to live in paradise, yeah. Shook me up, I'm feeling paralyzed still. I don't really wanna fight, I want real life and some real ties. I feel like we got time to kill. But she and me with the sad eyes, I hate red eyes. And in real life, she don't feel like life's real. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. She deserved to live in paradise, yeah. Shake me up, I'm feeling paralyzed still. I don't really wanna fight, I want real. So that wet knob is going to be what takes you probably the longest because it's very essential that you don't overdo it, but you also don't underdo it. So really mess with that wet knob. Go listen to it in a car, go listen on her phone. Um, and remember, reverb is going to lower the vocal just a bit because it's adding that wet perception. So it's just adding that reverb all over and it's kind of going underwater. So just re uh, remember that. So if you need to make your vocals a bit louder, just go back to the compressor, increase gain. Uh, but I like it where it's sitting. It's sitting nice and 
and yeah, that's basically it. So guys, through this whole process, this is what we came up with. We went from this, let's hear dry. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. Baby in me with the sad eyes. When I see it, I get mad, I feel. She deserved to live in paradise, yeah. Shake me up, I'm feeling paralyzed still. I don't really wanna fight, I want real life and some real ties. I feel like we got time to kill. But she hit me with the sad eyes. I hate red eyes, and in real life, she don't feel like life's real. Boom, and that is it. If you have any questions about this at all, please leave them down below. And if you could, please like this video. It'll turn into confetti, it's a beautiful thing. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It really means the world to me that we're building such an amazing community around higher quality music and the ability to make more music. That's our goal, guys. Let's make more music, let's make more high quality music, and, and let's build together, build relationships. Hit me up on Instagram, it goes down in the DMs. And yeah, I will see you guys next video. Peace.